All right, so that was Die Hippie Die. I hope you had some some laughs um, at that. I love I love the, you know they <laughs> uh, they have to play Slayer to like get rid of the hippies. And I mean, you know I know this firsthand. I used to um, I used to sell grilled cheeses at this epic uh, three four day um, fish concert festival in northern Maine when I was living there um you know and i figured out a way to exploit hippies for money which was my uh, aunt lived right on the the perimeter of of the uh of the air air base where they would have the show and um so i would sell grilled cheeses uh, to hippies um at this like epic fish jam show um and uh make a ton of money when i was like 16 17 all right so um but yeah uh you know yeah slayer will harsh the mellow let's just let's just let's just say that obviously you know what we have here is a big parody of woodstock um, in 1969 the hippie music jam festival right and i mean it's really hard to think about hippies now and hippies then you know because you know Matt and Trey make fun of Sharon and um, Randy for saying, well, we really did something, except for all they really did was get really, really high. Um, <laughs> and, um, you know, a lot of people would argue that the actually the early hippies actually maybe really did something like their left movement, their anti-war protests actually may have actually led to you know the end of the vietnam war and bringing home home the troops um it's hard to say whether hippies are really doing any anything now and whether you know having a hippie jam uh hippie music jam festival is 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 actually going to actually do anything right because the whole the whole idea of like these things uh, will change society um is interesting <laughs> Because who's at a hippie jam festival in attendance is a bunch of hippies. And they all, guess what, think, like, share similar world, world views, you know. So just, like, things, like, out here in, in Eugene every year with the, um, the country fair, right? A lot of people claim it's changing culture, you know, uh, inverting hierarchy and, and all this and all this stuff. But, like... Everybody who's there is like, shares your world view. Um, that's not changing anything. You need to get like, people who go to like the insane clown pa posse gathering <laughs> to go to the country fair and engage with them to change society. You need to get a bunch of MAGA people there to change society, right? Uh, if if that's not the case your 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 festivals and concerts are just kind of selfish celebrations of your own views which actually isn't changing anything which is what you know they really kind of go at here um it's just fine just i think what they're saying is like if you're gonna have you know a hippie music jam festival just just be a fucking jam festival don't claim it's like going to change the world and it's doing something you're fucking getting high and listening to music and that's fine but you're not doing anything you're not making a difference i think the claim you know for for a lot of people is they come out of these uh, jam fests or um you know get togethers or fairs with like a fresh view on the world you know, because they took a bunch of acid and <laughs> they've seen, um, you know, another way. But anyways, that's that's the parody there. And it's pretty it's pretty funny because it's like, you know, they have all like I love the news coverage where they show all the live the live footage of like hippies dancing. They show the massive the massive festival. Um, but what we have here to which, you know, when we think about like South Park and intertextuality, is we have a very, very uh, clear, um, uh, I guess we could call it, you know, an intertextual allusion to so many um, disaster movies. 
you know, uh, or maybe even direct parodies, like uh, specifically of like the movie, the Ben Affleck movie. I think it's Ben Affleck, uh, Armageddon, um, you know, but it's, it's, <laughs> you know, it's just so funny. They, they really go at all the stereotypes there. And I just, I just, you know, I love it. They're like, and we need a black person to sac, you know, to sacrifice, <laughs> to sacrifice, which is always something in like one, you know, one of those movies. And like they just kind of like really bring that to the, to the fore and play with that, that sort of, um, that stereotype. And I just love the, you know, camera pans around and just sits, sits on Chef, um, you know. So, and then Cartman kind of plays with that when, when the. Uh, the hippie drill breaks down. I don't know. I just thought that was interest, you know, interesting, funny uh, stereotype from films that they that they that they play with. But that you know, it's a parody on all of you know these disaster type movies and the structures of them and who they need to volunteer and all and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, that, I mean the the whole the whole episode is really you know just trying to. Um, while lampooning hippie culture, uh, also show it as like a selfish subculture, um, you know, an extremist view, you know, that most people would not really categorize it in that way. 